So this is Pete McCarthy, Rex O'Bannon, back with more of the Destiny beta walkthrough. This is the second mission, so this is the first time you get down into the uh, into the real world here. So what's that gun? I got a scout rifle now, which is a single shot. You got 11 bullets in the clip, but it does uh, it's precision precision rifle, mid to long range. So it's you seem to take more shots to kill a dog this time though. Yeah, but it's a lot more controlled, which I like, and it's less recoil. Less, yeah, less recoil, and it's only like, it's a headshot weapon. So if you can manage to get like two, three headshots, then you're good. If only the women in your life felt that way. <laughs> less recoil. And then, ooh, shoddy. Oh, boom! <laughs> Kablammy! Kablammy! And then my force push. Collect spin metal. So I don't know what that is, but I'm collecting it because I can. <laughs> so I, I feel compelled to. Take a dozen. <laughs> so, oh, I can see what you're doing there. You think you're playing Titan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't move around quite as well. You know, like with the Warlock, you can kind of jump and then float for a little bit. And I, I haven't quite got the... Like a jetty? Yeah, like a jetty. And I haven't quite got the... Got to figure it out quite all the way here. So we're coming into this building. It's like the women in your life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we go. And this is a fun oh, little thing. Cool. Do you have a jetpack? No, you just use the force basically. Hmm. So we're in the darkness zone, so this is the actual start of the mission. And when you start the mission, you can't die. If you die, you have to start the whole mission over again. So I'm gonna play start to play a little more cautious here. See that's not bad. It's only three shots. It's about the same to take down those things. to do like a burst you know what I mean yeah there's a burst gun uh, that I don't I don't I, there's a scout rifle which is this which is like the single shot long distance mid to long range weapon yeah, which is gun is not great which is my favorite gun actually out of all of them then there's the uh, they have like full on assault rifles what's the one you start with uh, that with that gun that I started with in the first mission, that's like an that's like an assault rifle, and they have those. They have like fully automatic, just like that one, and then they have burst fire rifles too. Yeah, see this that one's taking too long to kill them. It's not a good range for that weapon. You're better off to go in there and just mob them with a the shotgun. Yeah, these things are tough though. They're level fives. That's the other difference is that I'm like a level three right now, and these guys are a level five, so they're a lot tougher than me and my gun it's like when I was in the first mission like everything that I was fighting in the first mission was only a level was like a level one just like me oh look at this guy Rick it's Rick the devil Akron this is Ron's older brother <laughs> Rick Ron Rick and Ron Let's see and uh stuck in here burn Rick Ron oh it helps if I actually hit them with my hit them with my shots. Playing cautious, trying to use the cover, pop out, keep my shields up so I don't, you know, so I don't die. Focusing on trying to get the headshots on these guys because it's really a waste of bullets unless it's unless you're hitting the head. It's the whole point of the precision gun. Is it's only two shots on them if I land both of them as a headshot. Oh, that's interesting. So I can watch your pipe. Your, uh, pie wedge. <laughs> what are you talking about with the pie wedge? And it damages your shield on the top left. Oh, that that's my radar. Oh. The middle one, that bar in the middle with the skull on the end of it, that's my shield. Oh, I thought you answered the question right for a wedge. <laughs> no. That's just showing where the uh, where the bad guys are. See, look, I, so I can land every shot on Rick as a headshot, but it's only 37 damage. It's a, this is a slow, slow fight. So I come in here and kind of playing standard practice, right? Like, kill all the little guys first and then take the big guy. Let me just send in another round of little guys. Is it going to keep on spawning the little guys if I... Do you kill Rick? If I don't kill Rick? Or... Do you have any... Oh, if I leave... At, if I leave at all the wedges you have. You're surrounded. <laughs> or you're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on your point of view. <laughs> oh, right between his legs. <laughs> Trying to... 
that again. Well, that's a that's my the warlock grenade. It's the it's a void grenade, so it's an area effect. So you throw it and like it kills anything that's inside of the area for a period of time. Oh, oh no, oh no, now I'm in trouble. Whew. These guys are uh, aggressive. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. I'm dead. So I have to start it over again. Run in there and kill Rick. So. Rick's got all of his health back now, so I'm, I'm gonna try. I got trapped in that room. They're a lot more aggressive this time around, so I'm gonna try uh, out here, staying out here, moving around, strafing, so they don't. We'll try shooting them more, so that they die. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, it's simple, <laughs> really, if you think about it. In so fact, the I'm solutions in the game. What do they call these first-person shooters? So shoot. shoot. Yeah. First. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> racing games, you race and so forth. Gotcha. So I'm seeing if I leave one of his little minions alive, but that won't spawn an another uh, wave. I don't know if it's a time trigger thing, if it's triggered to his health bar, or if I just leave one alive, if I just have to dodge him while I kill Rick. And nope, nope, just kill them all, because a whole new batch just came in. So that theory, you know what you totally shot. Go to that room again where they killed you. Oh, good job. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure something different will happen this time. Nope. No way you know. I died again. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Got cornered in that room, and uh, there you I go. I am shocked. <laughs> like, you, I didn't see it coming. I'm going to try a little more aggressive this time. You said shotgun, right? You said you think we'd be better off with the shotgun coming in and dancing close? So let's see how that goes. Yeah. Now on this level, Doug, you sneaky dude. <laughs> Look at Doug trying to hide from me. Doug, we see you. Boom! Blow me! me. <laughs> That worked to clear the room out the first time, but uh, now here comes Rick. I'm a little bit nervous about dancing with Rick with the shotgun, but let's see what happens. Aggressive. Come on, Rick. And uh, we don't get close to Rick, so I'm going to try hand cannon now. Ugh. I haven't actually played with one of these yet, but I've seen them, and they look cool. They really don't look cool, though. <laughs> but it sounds cool. Hand cannon, right? Sounds like it'd be really powerful. It more kind of feels like it doesn't kill stuff fast. That's kind of what it looks like, too. That really only worked for Dirty Harry. And I think it was 40% hair. <laughs> <laughs> they can't even kill these sharks. Uh, they're going to kill me back here. Oh, stupid Virgil. Yeah. Sneaking up on me. So the darkness consumed me. Ooh. Gotta start over again. I am not playing with this again. I'm gonna switch that gun out for my scout rifle again. Wait, why don't you use the whatever? So Virgil doesn't know I'm here yet. <laughs> He's like, wait a second, somebody <laughs> almost shot me. <laughs> 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 this is a very Virgil heavy area. Not as many Dugs. Doug is hiding behind the thing. <laughs> <laughs> that pillar thingy. Oh, there he is. So I kill this Doug, and Rick's gonna come back in again. Here comes Rick. I'm not trying to try grenade him. Yeah. And I threw it behind him. Awesome. You're awesome at throwing them behind their leg, under their legs. I can throw those grenades right past them every Ser time. Seriously. Okay, so. You did that the first time. I was like, man, I bet you couldn't do that twice. <laughs> I'm gonna, let's see if I can keep moving. No, no, no. This room has been good to you. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on hard difficulty, so the guys are significantly harder than the first the first level here. So. They're also a lot more aggressive, so I'm going to see if I... Hey, oh, there's Virgil. Virgil. Now he's running. Boom! Kablowy! So is that your equivalent of a, a melee? Yeah, that's the Warlock's melee. So. There is a certain amount of satisfaction that comes just by... Whacking them about the head and neck with your gun, though, you gotta admit. Yeah, the hunter has a knife, 
and if the guy's not close when you melee, he throws the knife at him. That's pretty cool. What about the party planner? What does he do? Party planner? I'm not. <laughs> 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 Sprays confetti on him. The Titan. While they're looking down, thinking, what the hell? The then you shoot him. Yeah, the Titan doesn't look as cool as the other two, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know what he does, actually. I think he pounds the ground. Oh, that in, makes sense. In fury. <laughs> yeah. He throws a temper tantrum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to kill me. So, there you go. No, I got him that time. Uh, no, I didn't. No, yeah, not even close. Course. So I can I'll see that. Trying to do as much damage on Rick while I can before, his little, before all the Virgils come back in to mess with my life. Put him down, put him down. One down. Oof. <sighs> Virgil has a vicious bitch smack. <laughs> yeah, he really does. Run away, run away, get to cover. See, I've learned my lesson about letting them corner me in that room. Now I'm cornering you in this room. No, this room has an escape. Why? Because I can run out the back door. Oh, virgin coward. Dude, it feels like you are not even good. Rook's taking a that. lot of damage. Uh, do I have this? I do have this. Look, <laughs> you know, you're Wherever awful critical you're about grenade placement, I'm noticing. <laughs> Dude, grenades is where the battle is won or lost, bro. Virgil's gonna take these guys Just ask Custer. Yeah, <laughs> if only Custer <laughs> had some grenades. Yeah. Everything would have gone a lot differently. Dude, everything in history would be different. Let's see, see, like, this is working, though. See, look, right on his feet. See, that's hurting him. Yeah, that was good. So he's gonna stay moving around. No, I think they're gonna rush him in eventually. Too. No, there's only one guy in there, though. Killed all the other Virgils. I've got Rick and one Virgil on the map right now. A whole new, whole new flock of Virgils. Is that the right way to pluralize of do uh, Virgils come in flocks? Of what Virgils? A murder of Virgils. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> run away! Run away! See what I mean? This has an exit. I can run all the way back here. And they'll probably just stay in that area so I can reload and. Yeah. See, they didn't, they didn't chase me. Got Rick almost reload. dead. It's getting uh reload, go back into him. I do not want to die again. I think I've got Rick below him. Not so Vir Virgil completely forgot about me. Stupid <laughs> Virgil. <laughs> Why did we run back here? I, I don't remember. <laughs> it seemed important at the time. Oh yeah, this guy. Did I leave my comb back there? <laughs> Rick's gun shoots really slow. Yeah, dude, Rick's gun actually is pretty terrible. Rick, very intimidating. His gun, not so much. Oh, dude, did he shoot your grenade? I think he did. Crazy. Oh, Rick, you almost did. Oh, Rick. Oh, Rick. Yeah, he's. It's easy. It's really easy, actually, just break dance with him. If yeah, there weren't any Virgils to worry about, I'd be, <laughs> be sitting pretty. You know it's slow, but at least it's scattershot. <laughs> <laughs> By the time it gets to him, there's no hope. And okay, there go. goes Rick. Adios. I'm going to go pick up all the uh, stuff. Rick dropped a bunch of goodies. Those are good, those ingraps. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what, where is it? What's going on? Get out of here. When you don't know what to do, run away. What the hell was that? I don't know. It's oh. a Virgil. Trying to get a hit shield. Oh, you got a sword. You got to give him <laughs> Captain Bird Sparrow. <laughs> you got to give him credit for balls, though. After watching me take down Rick to come up and still want to dance. Well, Rick was his brother-in-law. Ah. Uh, yeah, it was the fast sister they never thought would get married. Yeah, so he's really angry about it. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Restoration complete. That was not quite as easy as it could have been. Mm. I can see how a fire team would really be an advantage in yeah, missions like that. Spread it out. 
Well, it took so many shots to kill him. Like, it's like so, like, he was a bullet sponge. So, I almost oh, you cool know what? On my guy. I get it. It's because he absorbs bullets. Right, like a sponge, you know? And a sponge <laughs> absorbs, like, waters and, and pesky spills. <laughs> <laughs> You. Yeah, you follow what I'm yeah. with the whole bullet sponge analogy. That was a good analogy. All righty, so let's go. All right, sh shut up now. Cutscene. Stop yeah. talking. Why are you still talking? It's a cutscene. Inspector O. That guy has badass name for his boots. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Mine are just boots. <laughs> I'm like, honey, hand me my shoes. <laughs> Where art my Vector O? <laughs> it's Vector O day. <laughs> No puddle shall inflict my dogs this day. <laughs> uh, what's happening here? I don't know. A salty gay robot. <laughs> leave my guy alone. He is cool. There was a time when we were much. wakes and finds it's right. I am the one who speaks for the traveler. You must have no end of questions, traveler. In its dire way, the traveler created the ghost to seek out those who can wield it well as a weapon. Guardian. tell you of the great battle centuries ago, how the traveler was crippled. I could tell you of the power of the darkness, its ancient analog. My name is Vector, told throughout the city of Darkenshire. Lately, Pessimist, isn't he? The fault is mm. your vision. What can I do? We must push back the darkness. Guardians are fighting on Earth and beyond. Join them. Your ghost will guide you. I only hope you travel with me. There you go, guys. Mission two of the Destiny beta. Pete McCarthy and playing Rex O'Bannon, helping with the commentary. Yo. Thanks for watching. Click, like, subscribe. We're going to do the, a Let's Play of the entire.